My name is David Ponting. I'm an architect from Ponting Fitzgerald Architects. Our role has been to design this house and uh, deliver a family home for Ross, Max and the kids. This house has been built uh, in Point Chevalier. It's a inner harbour zone about um, five kilometres from the central city. It's just got a, a beautiful feel of, as though you're a long way from a city yet right on the doorstep of one. Now, the, the site itself is uh, it's sitting directly above a beach. The bluff that the land sits on is really almost a sand dune and because we're looking down at a beach we've got this incredible ability to treat the architecture as an extension of the beach and so the, the principal design idea was to create a, a sand castle. The long narrow site had a lot to do with the form of the building because we had to stretch the building along the length to fit everything in. I think the most important aspect about the building is the fact that it is cast in concrete on site and so the, the playfulness that you have in working with sand as a child is something that's sort of become a grown up process where we've, we've really looked at what forms can you achieve that represent the sensation of being at the beach. When you enter the home, you go through this channel between these two forms and you realise that uh, there's, there's an opening on your right hand side which effectively reads as a tunnel all the way through to the living space. Another aspect of the building is that it is, it is a three storey home. It doesn't appear as such when you arrive, but once you're in the middle, you realise there's a staircase that just descends down into a basement play area and also rides up into a, a, a void which leads to the master bedroom. It's a very dynamic set of spaces you're experiencing with elongation horizontally and vertically, let alone the view shafts that you're getting left and right, the snippets of the harbour as you move through. The recognition of where we are as a, as a coastal property which is really hit hard by the weather on a bad day, we, we knew we could talk about the erosive nature of the climate, of the wind, of the sea, the sand, the salt, and let the building feel as though it has been uh, aggressed by that, that climatic environment for, the, for, for 100 years and, and here it is now, just weather beaten, still and assured of its place on this landscape. Ross is a builder and he's uh, had a lot of experience using concrete and he wanted, a, he wanted a real challenge on his hands. Concrete was really the only uh, choice for us in the matter of building this house. Um, firstly because that's what I do and what, what I'm uh, trained in and what I've spent a lot of time learning. You know just to be able to form anything we like out of concrete, you know, in its liquid state we can do whatever we like. People come around here and just just are amazed, they look everywhere. And then we bring clients here a lot too to show the, the textures of the concrete and so they can sort of t touch it and see it, see it and that sort of thing. You know, they get the sense of what it's like, the sound, the warmth, you know, the, the volume that we're creating here and all this sort of thing. Spend a lot of time researching and, and testing and this sort of thing. And all around New Zealand, I, I spend a lot of time going to different sites and, and assisting other builders and they're designing their formwork and talking to their local batching plants and coming up with the mixed designs. So additionally to the concrete here, you know, we don't want something that's totally concrete. We've used uh, a lot of Atlantic stone from a fantastic supplier here in Tauranga. And to the cedar, you know, we had a little bit more concrete in a couple of areas in the house. Matt and David said, no, maybe we put cedar over that wall and it really works, you know, and that's where, from their knowledge of where we needed to put it, you know, though it's a solid house, it's also got that sort of juxtaposition of the um, cedar with it, which I think really works well. The, the way the light can enter the building is obviously through the big windows that we're looking out of, but also through voids that go right through, through to the roof. And so with the kitchen living area being on the, the western end of the property, we had to make the most of a big hole in the ceiling to get morning sun down to where you hang out. This, this is a home that has uh, so many unique qualities to it, but the most enduring and enjoyable is the, the feel of the concrete in the space, the, the way it absorbs light and provide such a sense of permanence and solidity to the home, a, a sense of calm which you just can't achieve using lighter weight materials. There's, there's an incredible strength and, and the, the house feels pure, refined, rugged, uh, all of these sensations in one go. 
From this home, I'm, I'm most proud of you know the actual build itself, our piece of land art, but also the way that our family was involved with building it. You know, as we were building this main house in particular, you know, we, we, had, we had the children involved as well. So it's just been a fantastic sort of legacy for them as well, knowing that they were involved with this build and, and, and how, you know, they can, they can look around here and go, yeah, we helped with that as well. And, and sort of them probably knowing that I can never sell it because <laughs> that would kill me, you know. Well, we're really proud to have come up with a home that feels good where it is, it, it fits and uh, recognises where it is and has been thought about very carefully to, to express that sense of place.